Explosions going on behind us too because the halftime entertainment as usual at the SCG is very noisy, very exciting and very colourful. But with me is David Murphy and uh, we've been chatting about how you're going to fight your way back into this team. Dave, it's not the right time to get an injury with the Swans going so well. No, it certainly isn't. Uh, looks like I'll be kicking the dew off the grass in a, probably uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Not uh, Nothing I'd like to do, <laughs> but um, it's one of those things and uh, we'll just see how we go next week. I'm sure you won't be, but how long uh, before you'll be back? I think in about two weeks. Um, the sprain was a bit worse than I'd thought, first thought. Uh, it's damaged a few ligaments and uh, well, just hopefully I'll be back on the track in two weeks' time, maybe against Hawthorne. What did you do? Just roll on it? Yes, uh, I, I went up for a mark and come down very heavily on it and uh, something snapped and I thought, oh well, here we go, I'm gone. So I had to get carried off and uh, it was pretty bad. Well, these swans are becoming a high scoring phenomenon. Has something happened to really cause it all to click for you in the last two or three weeks? Because uh, when two 200 scores in a row had never been done before and you're on the verge of another one. That's right. I think it's just that the closeness of the uh, finals is only about five weeks away and uh, the guys are getting very, 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 um, what would you say, towy towards the, towards the end of the year in anticipation of what could happen in September. And of course we're fighting for the top spot. David, there's been some of the most extraordinary improvements and probably one of the biggest, if I can be cheeky enough, is the oldest man on the side, is Rod <laughs> Carter. But forgetting him, you've now developed a wonderful goal-to-goal -goal line, which really early you didn't have. Uh, Henwood gets better and better. Mark Bays, well, you can tell us how good you think he is. And then, of course, we know Warwick's a great player, but it, right down the line with Greg Williams there, it's become a fearsome lineup, hasn't it? Yeah, it certainly has. Uh, one more year under the belts, like Mark Bays and Warwick, everyone's learning. Uh, it's just, it's been a tremendous improvement in those guys. And when we get on the bigger grounds in September, I'm sure it'll be even uh, a bigger improvement. You were saying, make Kevin Bartlett drill, that you could see Mark Bays being another Royce Hart. And that's not, yeah, not that, a bad analogy. Yeah. That's right, yes. He uh, has the ability to float in front of the packs. And uh, in time, I'm sure he'll be able to do that with uh, a little bit more confidence. Speaking of improvers, you've come on in leaps and bounds. Does your development surprise you? Uh, well, I... I've worked very hard over the pre-season. I expected a fairly good year, but I didn't really expect to get into the Victorian team. It was a very pleasant su surprise. Um, unfortunately, I've, I've got uh, this ankle injury now that's put a damper on the season, but I've been pretty happy. I was going to smiley to Tim. Uh, Ian Roberts, when we had him up here, said, and David puts on one spectacular for us every week. And Week after week down here in front of us, you did it for us. Big marks and long goals, it's been a thriller, David. Well, I did it last week too when I broke my ankle nearly. <laughs> <laughs> Showing off again. Yeah, right? trying to show off. That yeah. no, was wonderful. Well you done. mentioned uh, top position. That's something that you're very conscious of at the moment. That's right. The whole team is, has a tunnel vision towards that top position. And, uh, like, as you know, it's uh, one winner win the grand final. Um, it's a great position to be in, and that is what we're aiming for. You've got four matches to come after this, and I think three of them are at Prince's Park, and I don't believe the Swans or South Melbourne have won there in something like 20 years. No, we haven't won there in something like 20 years, but we did win in a practice match there early in the year. Um, I'm sure we'll break the hoodoo this year. If you keep on winning and take top spot with an unbeaten run to the finals, it'll be 12 straight wins, I think. You're going for number eight mm -hmm. uh, tonight. Do you see any danger in that, that you could have been just up and on the boil for too long? No, I don't. I think it'll improve our confidence even more if we can do that. Did it aggravate you that there's so much talk about Hawthorne and Carlton? Gerard Healy was saying, uh, what's all this talk about those two? We're, we, we're just as good. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't aggravate me at all. Matter of fact, I don't mind it. As long as uh, like we might be able to slip under their guard, hopefully. Uh, everyone's talking about Hawthorne, but we'll see what happens on that day in September. I was thinking one other improver we forgot to mention who's really be a sensational import was Neil Cordy. Oh, he's a fabulous player, Neil. I don't know how Fushbo let him go, but uh, he's really slotted in well into the back line. He's got that little bit of height, a little bit of know-how and experience. We're hearing uh, in the background to the tune of Up There Kazali, Up There for Sydney. What's the feeling been like in the city, the newspaper, uh, electronic media coverage in the last couple of weeks on the strength of these amazing performances? Oh, it's been fantastic the last two weeks. It really has. It's been uh, a matter of going in and seeing people and and uh, they're all talking about how well the swans are going that they don't know anything about the game but they're all heard how the swans are going 
It's been really, really fabulous. Great breakthrough for Australian football in the Harbour City. Thanks for joining us, David. Sure, it's underway again. Good luck, and let's hope you're back in harness soon. Great, thanks. So the start of the second half, and the Swans...